1866, Abraham Lincoln was quoted as saying, You cannot argue with stupid people, but a wise man will delete their comments from his YouTube channel. Today, I will be showing you the new version 2.0 updated TID Radio wireless Bluetooth radio programmer. This miracle of modern technology allows you to wirelessly, wirelessly, without a wire, wirelessly program your Baofeng UV5R, Redivis, Radiodity, Rayodity, and a dozen or so other radios, it allows you to program them wirelessly from your phone or your computer without any cables. That is what wirelessly means. If you don't have a computer, or if you do have a computer and you can't get that stupid cable for your radio to work with your computer, this may be the answer to your wired woes. Even though this is the new updated version 2.0 of the wireless Bluetooth radio programming dongle, the cost is still only $23, affiliate link below, and TID Radio did send me this wireless Bluetooth programmer at no charge so that I could play with it and then share it with you, my favorite viewer. Now you may remember that a few months ago I did a review of the original version 1.0, the first revision of the TID Radio Wireless Bluetooth programmer. It was good, it worked, but it wasn't perfect and it had some issues. I didn't really like the app that you have to use to program the radio, but it was okay. It did the job. Josh at Ham Radio Crash Course, Josh really did not like the app. And to be fair, the app did have some issues issues. But apparently the boys at TID Radio heard the negative feedback. I had a little negative feedback. Josh at Ham Radio Crash Course and a few other YouTubers had a lot of negative feedback. So the boys and girls, girls have jobs too. The boys and girls at TID Radio have now updated the programmer. They have made some changes to the new version 2.0 and I'm going to review some of those changes with you. You know who you are. Changes not just to the hardware of the Bluetooth programmer, but to the app that so many people complained about. Now, some people, some people, some of the experts that watch my video and some of the other YouTubers' videos left comments on those videos decreeing, decreeing from their thrones high upon their bean bags in mom's basement. They decreed that the TID Radio wireless app that you have to use was spyware. Spyware. They decreed in their infinite wisdom that it was spyware because the app asked for permission to location services and the Bluetooth services before you could run the app. And this is just yet another very important reminder that those YouTube comment experts are usually morons. It is indeed true that the app, the old version and the new version, will ask for permission to access Bluetooth on your phone. That's because it is a Bluetooth programmer. Instead of wires, it uses the Bluetooth electricities through the air. So to use it, you're going to have to allow the app access to your Bluetooth on your phone. The app also, previously in the older version and in the new version, asked for access to location services. It wanted to know where you were. And this was the main reason that many of the morons decreed that it was spyware. What the experts failed to realize is that the app, not only is it a programming app, but it also has some built-in social networking features. TID Radio is trying to build a platform for radio dorks too talk, just like Facebook for radio dorks. But in order to use that part of the app, it wanted access to your location. You can simply deny that access. Don't allow it access to your location if you choose, and the app will still work just fine for programming the radio. So when you purchase the TID Radio wireless Bluetooth programmer for only $23, affiliate link below, you will receive a user guide, user manual, it is 17 pages long, and although it is written in very poor Chinglish, it is very clear, it even has pictures with arrows that make it very easy to understand what steps you must take in order to use the programmer. It is a very simple device, but they have spelled it out very easily 
so that even people that always like to say, I'm not good with technology, which usually means I'm too lazy to read a manual, even they can figure it out. You have no excuses because, as you can see, it is a very well put together manual with pictures and arrows. You will receive a charging cable, which you affix one end to the Bluetooth dongle and the other end to a USB power source and it will charge your wireless Bluetooth dongle. And you will receive the TID Radio wireless Bluetooth thingy for programming your radios without wires. Now at first glance, it does look very much like the previous version 1.0. This is the new one, this is the old one. As you will see, they have moved the location of the plugs on the old one. They were on this side, on the new one, they're on this side. The reason for that is that because on some radios, it didn't fit very well. There wasn't room there, it was bumping into things. So they have now changed the location so it affixes this way instead of that way. They've changed some of the colors and indicator lights. There's a little LED there, you'll see that in a minute. They've changed the colors and what they do. And you will see that on the newer version, it has a USB-C hole, whereas on the older version, it had a... It has a cover that's freaking impossible to get to. The cover, no more cover, but it had a mini USB plug, USB-A, the newer one is better, USB-C, mini USB. And as I mentioned, it does not have the cover, which, although it does help keep the dust out, that thing's a pain in the bitch to get open. So we will dispense with the old one. And from here on out, I will be showing you only the new version 2.0 wireless Bluetooth programmer. Now to use it, you will need one of these. This is a phone. It can be either an Android phone or an iOS Apple phone. And you will need to download the OD Master app to your iOS or Android device. And as I mentioned, the first time you use it, it will ask for permission to use your Bluetooth services and your location. It does need access to Bluetooth, but you can just deny access to the location if you are the paranoid type. On some phones, location services might be needed to use Bluetooth, but I denied access to my location on my phone and everything works just fine. It does also force you to create an account to use the app. I just used one of my many fake email addresses. You don't have to use your real information. Nobody cares. So when you open the app, you will see that it has three main features. What it calls POC, which is part of the social networking service the program button, which you use to do the actual reading and writing of the radio, a status button, which is also part of the social networking features, so you can see what other people have done should they choose to share it, and the me button allows you to change your settings. Across the top, you've got your friends, channels, which are sort of like chat rooms where you can go in and talk to other people over the app by using this push to talk button so you can talk to them through the app and the records of who you've talked to. So they really seem to be pushing this social networking angle of the app. I think that's gonna be destined to fail because what they probably didn't realize is that most radio dorks are not very social. One great feature, I think it's new, it might've been in the previous version, I don't think it was, I didn't notice it, doesn't matter. TID Radio calls this feature the remote control app. And what that does is it allows you to program your radio wirelessly from your computer. You still need a phone, but the remote control feature will allow you to go to any computer in the web browser, go to their website, which is clearly explained and it will allow you to go to their website, log on and do all of your programming on your computer through the web browser, save files, load files, do everything for multiple radios all on your computer, which is usually easier than doing it on your phone. That all then syncs automatically to the phone, which you then send to the radio. So allow me to show you how you use the TID Radio wireless Bluetooth programmer. You take your radio in one hand. 
You take your TID radio wireless programmer, hold it firmly in the other hand, and you stick these into the holes. Be sure to press firmly, because if it's not in all the way, it won't work. You may think that it's in. Give it an extra little push just to make sure it engages fully. You then turn your radio on, and you turn on the programmer by pressing and holding the top button momentarily, and you'll see that the blue light lights up. You then load the app and get signed in, and go to the program button at the bottom. You then pair the phone to the programmer. You don't do that through the regular Bluetooth pairing process. You just tap the connect Bluetooth button. You find your programmer on the list. It will probably be the only one there. And you click enable. You then select the model of radio that you have. In my case, it is the beloved Baofeng UV5R. You can see some of the other models that are compatible and some of the other brands also. They're always adding new radios. So I will select my UV5R from the list. You then tap the read button to load in whatever's on the radio into the phone. It will then read whatever's in your radio into memory, and then you can program your radio. You'll see channels listed here, so you can select what channel you want to program. You can set your frequency that you want here. CTCS tones for decode, that means receive, and encode, that means transmit. Power setting, all of these settings that you can program directly onto the radio, including a channel name, which you can customize. So you go through each channel and program it one by one. If you want to make changes to the radio itself, the function of the radio, you've got those options as well. Squelch, Vox, and of course, the very important Roger Beep, which all real GMRS operators always have enabled to piss off the sad hams that love to complain about the Roger Beep. When you're done making your changes, you have a few options. You can save your settings by hitting the save button. We'll give it a name. I saved it, which I can access by hitting the RX TX list here. And you'll see some default settings saved here already. And then some of my new and custom settings that I have saved. Note that if you have an iPhone and you have dark mode enabled, this button there will not be visible. It will just be a big blank white space. So you tap there to get to the list of files. TID Radio, you need to fix that. So now that I've made all my changes to my channels and my functions, and I've saved it already, I'm going to write those changes to the radio by pressing the write button. And as it writes, you'll see the little activity light. The radio then resets. And my new programming has now taken effect. The other thing you can do that I mentioned previously is that you can go on to your computer, any computer with a web browser and an interwebs connection, and you can do your programming there. But in order to do that, you must first go into your settings by pressing the me button and then tapping settings and the remote program option must be enabled. I've already enabled it. So it says, okay, not sure why it says okay instead of on. But to enable it, you'll see a switch there and you tap that to enable it. Then on the web page, you can do your programming there, which is much easier than on a tiny phone. Make all your changes. You can save multiple files. And then when you save those on the website, they will automatically sync into your app and they will appear there as if by magic. So what does this all mean? It means you can program your radio either from your computer or directly from your phone. You need a phone no matter what, you do not need a computer, wirelessly through the air to the new updated TID Radio Bluetooth programmer, no wires, no cables, and it's all only $23.